I don't know, you obviously come to a difficult time with COVID and the problems you've been having. Here we are again, family back in control. What's the big message that you would like to tell the public about what's going on at the moment? Regarding, you know, your party, the policy is going on in the country. Well, first of all, I think that to initiate something like a political party could never have been an easy project. It was bound to have uh, birth pangs and indeed even reverses. That is in the nature of things. It's in the nature of uh, new initiatives that that is so. However, I remain convinced that the step we took in 2008 to initiate the Congress of the People mm. was a very good contribution mm. both to expand and deepen democracy in our society. Mm -hmm. In this way, I think we made it possible for many others who felt threatened, among other things, by expressing criticism, especially of the liberation organization which had brought democracy to South Africa. Mm. Yet things had begun to go wrong, mm. and I think uh, looking back from when we started to date, mm. I think there is more than enough evidence to show that to create space for voices of dissension was good. We presaged at that time, and our, our slogan was that hope was in defense mm. of the Constitution, in defense of democracy. Admittedly, at that time, it was not very, it was not so obvious that the diversion, the deviation, rather, the deviation of which we spoke, the deviation from the road the liberation movement had both taught and charted, that deviation that we spoke about seemed like a thumb sack. Mm -hmm. Yet, since then until now, mm -hmm. there has been increasing evidence um, that indeed the tendency mm -hmm. uh, to to override or to trample underfoot the provisions of the Constitution. But that tendency has increasingly come out into the open. In the very recent period, at uh, this time as we speak, the secrecy bill, what is that otherwise the uh, information uh, bill, yeah essentially throws a dark cloak of si over society, silencing men and women, uh, those who would um, want to object against excesses which have become very common now, misuse of public funds, mm. uh, criticism of uh, uh, individuals who abuse power. Mm. This dark cloak 
very, very similar to what the apartheid regime did because in an attempt to silence all voices, black and white, who criticized apartheid, it introduced this kind of legislation. Mm. And it suppressed voices of dissension in the name of security of state. And we are hearing similar voices and words coming out of the mouths of those who are now in power. So I think that the, the, the role of the Congress of the people is more important today than even when we formed it. So we are working very hard inside the party to renew its membership, to renew its branches and other structures. We are doing our utmost to persuade other opposition parties that we must work together. Not against the ruling party, but in defense of the democracy in this country. That it's an act of patriotism for all of us to speak with one voice that we will not allow for that which was negotiated amongst the people and agreed. We will not allow for that to be dismantled and we will not allow for the many years that so many gave in the prisons of the country in exile under burning orders. We will not allow for those rights that Nelson Mandela signed into the Constitution so that we may enjoy the lives we are enjoying today. We will not allow for those to be eroded. Okay. And then tell me something. There, there has been talk in the recent past about possibility of joining the DA in some form of coalition. Is that a reality or is it just, as you say, a position that only affects the defending of the Constitution and democracy? Why are you thinking? maybe in the next election you're going to be partners or is that an overstatement from the DA because they've been making noises that suggest there's a, a closing of ranks between yourselves and them. I must say to you that we have achieved no more. We have aimed and, uh, aimed and achieved no more than what we have achieved. All that we have said uh, to all the other opposition parties was that are there issues on which we are agreed, which are common among us? Mm. And we agreed that when it comes to the defense of the Constitution, sustaining the Constitution as it is, we are agreed on that issue. Therefore, let's fight together in defense of that which we are agreed on. One. Two. Are we agreed that the failure by the government to provide the services to the communities that are required, water supplies and things like that, are we agreed that all of us want that done for the people? We said, yes, we are agreed. Therefore, we said, yes, we will support all of us will support the strive for better service delivery to the people. We agreed on that. We said that we agreed that corruption, the abuse of resources, people, money is budgeted for certain services. And those who are in government, in various, using entrepreneurs and other things, are taking this money for themselves. It's not being used for the interest of the people. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are agreed. So he said, can we work together? Wherever we find corruption, mm -hmm. to fight that and work together to oppose it. Mm -hmm. So this was agreed. Then we said, are we agreed that there is need, perhaps, there's need to bring about 
uh, amendment to the electoral system as it stands today. Mm. And then we said, yes, we are agreed. We think that it is important that somehow this electoral uh, form of electoral system mm. needs to be amended somewhat. So then we agreed on that. So we said, if that is agreed, can we concentrate on the issues, work together on those issues which we are agreed and which are common amongst ourselves? And that was agreed. And this is why you see now, when legislation such as the secrecy bill is introduced, we then work together because we see it as a threat to the Constitution. That in a suggestion now that the Supreme Court of Appeal as well as the Corn Court should be merged together and so on. We again are agreed that this is not in the interest of the country. So we are saying even on that issue we are going to be seen to cooperate, to oppose it. We won't want that to see that happen. And so that is where, up to that point, this is where our cooperation is at. Uh, so, <clears throat> if for instance, where for instance, uh, in a particular area, if we fight local government elections, and you've seen that, mm -hmm. where we have won the majority as opposition parties, we have then said, look, let us put in place the kind of administration mm -hmm. that will try, will, will, will be guided by this agreement of working together to ensure that we put in place administrations that are not going to do what the ruling party is doing and cover up for corruption, etc., etc. So there are some of those things. Now, in, in, in political action taking, uh, social society is forever in motion. Uh, what this cooperation may or may not lead to uh, one cannot predict. Are we, I would imagine that if we go into, on into the future and we find this more and more issues that we agree on, we'll probably be found to be working uh, together on a broader number of issues than is presently the position. That, of course, will, is a matter that will be determined by history. We as the Congress of the, of the people, we believe that by encouraging the cooperation of the opposition uh, formations, we can help to develop for the country a more effective opposition to the ruling party than if the Congress of the people were to act alone and the DA was to act alone and so on. But uh, coming back to this problem we have with the electoral system, what exactly would you like to see change? What is the wrong what's wrong with in your view with what's you know the present situation and the what we, do you want to change? What we do think is that it's going to be a mixed system. You, it's important that a certain number of people that are that stand for election, potential candidate, yeah. must be known even before the elections. You see at the moment you you have a flag of the party that vote for COPE. Okay. And people vote for COPE. Some of them may vote for COPE because they like the, the, the colors of the, of the flag. Some of them will vote for the ruling party because they, they like the, the flag because they know it brought freedom and so on. And that's about it. Who is going to go on their behalf? and occupy a position in the National Assembly or in the Council of Provinces, they don't know. But if it, were, if it was to be so, such that it was said some of the seats must be contested as constituency seats, you and I would be compelled to stand and say, I will be a candidate for that. Then this gives the it gives the, the electorate an opportunity to then look and say, sure, I support COVID. But this candidate, is that really what I want? Or I support the ruling party. But this guy, whom I know, 
has got this track record of that, that maybe is a thief, maybe is what, is that the candidate I want. And, they, and therefore the choices would be better, more informed than just to vote and afterwards you discover that somebody you really did not want to be in government. You have voted for that guy and put him there. Or you voted for that lady and put them there. So I say mixed because, because perhaps to a certain extent uh, you may have seen that you may want the party, a percentage that you want parties to contest. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes democracy that is unable to deliver the kind of capacities, mm -hmm. talent that you want. And the, you may give some level of flexibility so that the parties also can also choose people and say, look, however much this guy is popular, but here we need somebody who has engineering skills. Mm -hmm. And when you give the party the leeway of identifying certain people, you give them the capacity to then fill up the skills levels which the popular vote might not be sensitive to. Coming back to your party, do you think that uh, after all the squabbles you had with uh, Mr. Mbazi Mashulua, that you've now managed to repair some of the damage and maybe regain some of your dissenting people that we're beginning to say we are leaving court because of this. Do you feel the party is back on its feet and everybody is under one umbrella or there's still some work to do in uniting the two sides? No, there, there's, quite, uh, there's quite a bit of work that must still be done. I, I'm quite satisfied that the vast majority of the people that supported the Congress of the People understood that the issue had to do not with individuals but with values. Mm -hmm. Whether we would allow for corruption, because stealing money of the party mm -hmm. is corruption. We couldn't condemn corruption in, one, in, the, in the ruling party or any other party and then allow it in a party like the Congress of the People. It would make no sense. Mm. And lots of people agree with that. That not that should not have been allowed. And you are, it is right not, that it's not allowed. The, their major concern was that the, the the struggle to sort that issue out took a long time. It disrupted the work of the party. It crippled its performance. And it diverted attention away from the issues uh, before the, the nation. And, and uh, consumed a lot of energy and resources mm. uh, as it is. At the present time, uh, many, many of those problems uh, have been uh, set aside, and I think we are almost out of the woods. But in the process, there are many people that were very enthusiastic about the Congress of the People, mm. but whose enthusiasm was dampened, mm -hmm. and some of the goodwill was lost. Uh, uh, we are in the process of talking to a lot of these people to say to them, we think that the foundation is more or less what it should have been now. We think it's important that you must come back because the issues that you saw as a danger to society, the issues that inspired you to support us in forming the Congress of the People, mm -hmm are still there. In fact, they are more glaring today than they were at that time. And, and the weaknesses in the ruling party are so obvious now that they make the rebuilding of the Congress of the People more urgent than it was in 2008. And I think many of the people are, are recognizing that. They may be cautious in their uh, making a comeback, but that the need for cope mm. and indeed for a more effective opposition to the ruling party, the need for that I think is made imperative by circumstances way beyond uh, the Congress of the People itself. Like you obviously have heard Julius Malema making so much noise about nationalization, the land issue, what are your positions? regarding those two burning uh, issues to so think minor nationalization is the way to go or you know land without uh, compensation land without compensation are those things that 
Call people consider as well to find them way over the top in the constitution. Well, of all, they are, I mean, nationalized, taken land without compensation is completely uh, is, is, is in conflict with the, in the constitution first and foremost. Mm. Because they are there in the constitution is guaranteed uh, uh, the right to property. Mm. They, and therefore, if, if the transfer, transformation in terms of uh, transfer, so to say, or let me say, uh, transfer of or the distribution of land, mm. it's, got, it's got to follow the rules that accord with the natural laws of justice. Mm. And uh, wholesale uh, nationalization is not something that we have uh, considered in this way. There's going to be a lot of debate between now and uh, we, are, we are at the moment project hoping to go into our national congress before the end of October. So quite intensive de debate inside the Congress of the People are going to take place on these issues. Mm. Um, but my sense of it uh, at this time is that uh, certainly we do want to see uh, a process by which there is redistribution of, of land uh, and so on, but not what has been suggested. Uh, this, uh, this. So Africa in the first place, mm. Is the free market system in general, generally speaking, at the moment, mm. and in, in any in any free market system, but in particular ours, there are some mixed elements about it. Mm -hmm. There are certain things that that even on our constitution, uh, are national nationally owned, uh, even even ventures. Mm. If you look at the um, some of the parastatals, mm. they are owned nationally and so on. Yeah. But other areas, other areas of, uh, of uh, the economy are private. Yeah. One of the big questions and challenges for, for this country is whether when you nationalize, you maximize productivity, or whether your productivity is maximized in, uh, in, the, in, in the hands of private uh, entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've seen now the Aurora mine things yes. and so on, mm. uh, transferred from one individual to the other, mm. or a group of individuals to the other, yeah. and the whole thing falling apart, mm. and even making propaganda negative mm. to, to the country, uh, etc. So, It's not, a, it's, it's not a very easy thing of just making a declaration like Madame makes some declarations. Mm. You look at him and you wonder about this young uh, yeah. What is? You know, look at the Soviet Union. Take, take the Soviet Union. Take these countries like the GDR, it's the Euro, it's the Euro, Romania, Hungary, and all of that, mm. where the means of production, mm. which means where were owned by the nation. Which means they were nationalized. When the Berlin Wall came down, and you compared the East and the West, yeah. and, the West and you know, it was shameful. Cope's ambition is not to be the main opposition party, it was to be a government. Mm. So that we can serve the people here. When you have opposition, it's not like when you are in power, the money comes and you say, this is the money budget of the country, mm. this money we are going to use for you this way, that way, that way. Then you are in government. But at the present time, when you are opposition, you, you use that position to continue to point out the weaknesses of the ruling party in order to convince the, the voters that next time round, don't vote for those guys. Vote for us because then we will do better for you. Mm. 